Amelia Case Spicer, and Tom Pertotto. And to the stage crew for that seamless transition. <laughs> Start you off with a song about uh, a song not about the Beltway. This is a song about back roads. It's called Back Road Driver, and it's kind of about those unnamed roads and those landmark roads that you try to travel on and keep yourself sane, right? Literally last week, I gave directions to my house by saying. Take a right at the big porcelain pig on the right side. <laughs> Knuckles white with moonlight, speed limits 35. Takes longer when you go this way That's the way I choose to drive Don't give me directions In numbers or in routes I'll take mine in landmarks in names like Sunshine Avenue I'm a back road driver I'm just trying to make the most The beauty that's between two points On these old forgotten roads Sucker for the long way And I don't mind getting lost I think of it as another path I'm lucky to have crossed And along the way I don't mind getting lost Some people live like freeways With their deadlines and their goals Running from one place to the next Got no time to smell the rose Me, I'm on this journey Half the time, don't know where to That's the thing about this ride It's most fun just getting through And I'm a back road driver I'm just trying to make the most the beauty that's between two points On these old forgotten roads I could fall a long way and I don't mind getting lost. I think of it as another path I'm lucky to have crossed. And along the way, I don't mind getting lost. If you find that you're confused about which way to go, take some consolation in that you are not alone. No one has an answer, no more than a guess. It's nothing to lose hope about, because this life has been a test. And I'm a back road driver, I'm just trying to make the most of the beauty that's between two points on these old forgotten roads Suck a fall a long way and I don't mind getting lost I think of it as another path I'm lucky to have crossed and along the way I don't mind getting lost along the way I don't
I'm just a little bit excited to be playing at the Kennedy Center tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Okay, I'm a lot excited. I'd like to dedicate this next song to, to a, a folk person who we lost this week, a guy named Alan Lomax, who was a great collector of folk music for years. And, uh, and he did a lot for, for chronicling things that needed to be remembered. And uh, if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have great recordings of guys like Woody Guthrie and Lit Belly and you name it. And, uh, so this song mentions a few of those, and this goes out to him. You know, he had that ear, he had that certain, uh, as the French would say, I don't know what. <laughs> <laughs> so we're talking about, you know, music that gets passed through the ages, and uh, you figure there's only so many notes and so many riffs, and uh, people just kind of borrow them and pass them on, and uh, I can't tell you how many riffs I've stolen from Tom Prasado Rao over the years. And, uh, so I call this the collective riff consciousness. For years this riff's been rolling around Been on stage in many a town Charmed the ladies down in New Orleans Funked them up in a story of Queens There's good reason why it's familiar to you Cause one thing this riff isn't is new
Thanks. This is a song about us. This is a song I wrote with my friend Don Brody. And, uh, I miss Don. This is a song about summertime, kind of, well, it's kind of a song about a happy couple that gets downsized to one. <laughs> Foolish fussing, trying to force it to fit. Perfectly willing to back off a bit. Take your time and you make the right decision. You know where I'll be. I presume I'll be right here under the mandolin moon. You cannot say that you're relieved Who knows what fortune is keeping up its sleep Come on, don't get hung up on details Who treated the other one worse That's a scene we do not need to rehearse Take your time and you make the right decision You know where I'll be, I presume I'll be right here under the mandolin moon you Take your time, take care of yourself Take your time and take it week to check out the broadcast here and uh, they're doing a lovely job on the web thanks to thanks to y'all I want to send back there um, I have to admit I thought the columns were real and I was watching on my computer <laughs> <laughs> but but they are still beautiful I'm not that I'm complaining about you. so uh, How many people took the tour today? I saw somebody taking the tour. <laughs> this is a song I wrote when I was driving home from uh, Texas one time. Texas Hall? No, uh, home is New Jersey. Ah. Yeah, let's hear from New Jersey. <laughs> oh, 
Although I live now in Pennsylvania, but <laughs> home is New Jersey. So I was driving home from Texas, though, and it was a 33-hour ride. So I, I had the radio on to kill a little time. And I seemed to be, a lot of time, and I seemed to be tuned into uh, WCOD, which is nothing but codependent love songs 24-7. <laughs> One after another after another, and it's that one phrase, I can't live without you, that keeps coming back in these songs. You know, it's always somewhere, it's in the bridge, of course. And then when the one that pushed me over the edge was that one, how will I live without you? And I'm like, come on, Leanne, you're like 16 years old. <laughs> Get over it. You're gonna have plenty of chances to break that heart. So I didn't think the world needed any more codependent love songs. I decided I needed to write a no-dependent love song. <laughs> this is called the No-Dependent Song. There's a line around your smile that traces where it appears. You don't see it very often, cause it's almost always here. And the little girl inside remembers what's for real. Your two feet meet the earth, and your spirit heals, and you don't need me. I don't need you. Cause you got everything, and I got everything too. But put our souls together, it's bigger than the parts. Complimentary and a out the rhythm and I'm letting in the ground shake away on deck my hesitation at the door hearing my resistance drop into the floor and you don't need me I don't need you she got everything and I got everything too but put our souls together it's bigger than the parts complimentary That's, that's a song off of my live album called Present Moment Days. And my friend Matt from Black Potato Records is back in the, in the back there with all the CDs. And Amelia has CDs as well. Black Potato Records is named after the, uh, the, the gaff by our, own, our old friend Dan Quayle, actually. I should mention, we spell it with the E on the end just for Dan. <laughs> yeah. This is a song about... Uh, 
Wow, I just took the list out of my pocket and I'm still on track. Potato. This is a song about uh, snapshots. I used to work in New York City and I was, I was a little bored one day. I was staring at the ceiling. I was working in a hotel with a beautiful, beautiful uh, painting on the ceiling. And I decided that uh, not enough people were looking at it, so I spent the, spent the afternoon looking at it. Everybody left this meeting and nobody looked, nobody looked up. They just rushed off to the next place. And so uh, it got me thinking about a guy who used to paint ceilings. And I started writing this song and I emailed it over to my friend Christian Bauman, who I think is watching online. Everybody say, hey, Christian. Hi, Christian. Hey, Christian. <laughs> so uh, I'd like to invite my friend Tom Prasado Rao to come play some guitar with me on this one. Hi. Yeah.
when he said goodbye. Gave one last look round the heavenly sky, handed his wings to Michael and cried. No more will I know you, no more can we be friends. But the view of your face, my brother, I'll never forget. And the view from here sinks your breath now, honey. The view from here leaves you alone. The view from here it shuts you up now. one more song for you. Not until I plug his album. <laughs> it's called, one of them is called Hear You Laughing, and if you don't have it, you really gotta hear it. It's fantastic. <laughs> this is a song off of one of my records. It's called, uh, it's called Hollywood Comes to Hoboken. I was living down in Hoboken for a bunch of years, and it's a true story. It's a folk song about uh, when Ron Howard came into my neighborhood and decided he needed to make a movie right in front of my house. Things got kind of messy for a few hours there. For a little while I thought it was exciting. Then I realized it was just a big pain in the neck. <laughs> so watch out for that big Hollywood. Thank you very much for listening. It's been an honor to play for you here. to Garth for booking me. He's on vacation, but... Uh, CDs, action figures, Pokemon cards available in the back. <laughs> I'll see you around. My name's Greg Cagno. Thanks for listening. <laughs> I seem to remember I was parked right over here. A big movie production came to my little town. I got back home tonight, my car was nowhere to be found. Jack, who drove the rider, told me Gibson's in the flick. Mel had just got his appendix pulled, so it wasn't going quick. He was parked outside of my place, and so I offered him a beer. We shot the breeze and I realized my car had once been here and I got towed by Opie. Richie Cunningham towed me. I don't care who you are, I was here before you. You're a big shot director. I'm just a renter, but I'd appreciate my wheels back when you're through. <laughs> Cunningham, I gotta say this really sucks. The towing plus the ticket sent me back a hundred bucks. Mac the cop said he buzzed me and I hadn't been around. I've been out making money, I'd soon be given to the town. They offered me a ride to the pound as apology. Drop me off at the front gate where the guard dog tried to bite me. The guy behind the desk tried to tack on 15 clams and it 2 a.m. on Thursday, just what I need's another scam. Yeah, I got towed by Opie, but you cutting him towed me. I don't care who you are, I'm here before you. Big shot director, I'm just a renter, but I'd appreciate my wheels back when you're through. This kind of stuff never happened in Mayberry. Kind of stuff only seems to happen to me. Would you have towed the Fonz if he was in your way? 
Guess I ain't him. This is not a happy day. Put my new song on your latest soundtrack. <laughs> I would call it even this intrusion on my life. You have in my VW called a Bob Barney Fife, and I got towed by Opie, but you cut a hand to me. I don't care who you are, I was here before you. A big shot to an actor. I'm just a renter, but I appreciate my wheels back when you're through. Appreciate my ride back when you're through. Bucker up now, Kennedy Center, here we go. Thank you. 